Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
whether they're inhabited or not, that I can't tell you. But someone's around them. I don't know if they're inside of them. Do you guys know that the moon has the measles or the chicken pox? The objects that you're seeing, the white bumps on the surface, are in line. They're symmetrical, in a way, symmetrically placed. Not all the structures on the surface of the moon have necessarily, you know, the white picket fence in the mailbox. Here's the same photo, zoomed up, of course, and inverted. Look at the complexity in the structuring in the way that these lines meet. And now look here, tunnels, power lines, or train systems. Let me tell you, whatever it may be, we're seeing lines side by side on the surface that are connected. They run in and out of regions of the moon, and some of those regions looks like they actually have some coverings over them to hide what's actually underneath. Did you guys know that it is said to be a telescope that causes the craters to look like they are outwards or convexed? Look here, I inverted the photo, and now this large crater looks inverted and not convexed. Really happy to show you guys this one. You're going to like it. This one caused a lot of commotion. Look at the surface. Um, many areas. Let's start by here. Uh, tunnel or with a cover over it. This is what I call the beehive, meaning all these entries, conjunction. And look in here, some lights. One, two, three, four. I mean, the detail on the surface is exquisite. And look at how all the objects are lined side by side, symmetrically. I'm telling you a guy can get his head chopped off for this. I'm telling you, it's really up there. These massive objects. And look at this, again, like beads, right? On these beams, these lines. Here, how come two lines follow each other as they're winding through? It's all impossible for it to be natural, right? Look at the bumps on the surface. You wonder what they are and you look at the details on the craters and you say, wait a minute, some of these craters have this white material on top built over it, over the top. Hang on, we'll uh, look at some real close-up details on the surface. Some astonishing ones. Probably get my head chopped off. I'm not kidding you guys, but they're laughing because nobody believes it. What are you looking at? Connections, massive. What's that? I mean, come on. Are these tunnels? They do look buried. Or they look like they're under some kind of a haze. Why is this one crossing so straight across? You're not going to tell me it's ejecta. Come on, that's hilarious. Really is hilarious. And these are inverted shots. There's no tampering with these shots. How come now we're seeing it elevate, go higher up this object? It's because everything's connected. But let's go further than that. How much is everything connected? Everything. Bridges, corridors, connections, electrical or people or, or liquids in it, who knows, they're connected. Tunnel going in the ground on a 90 degree square platform and at the end, look, another connection. Everything is connected. Every area, it's not just areas sitting randomly there. They're connected, there are passageways going to these objects. Some of um, the tunnels are hidden. Some of them are exposed, and you got to wonder why some of them look unburied. Maybe somebody was actually unburying some of them. Because when you look at this, it's a pretty revealing surface, and again, it's one small area on the moon. Now watch the series of arrows. We're getting in very, very close. The green structure that I talk about often, glass, whatever it may be, it's still there. Watch this. Watch closely, guys. See all these bumps that are around here? I've shown this in sinus irritum. Those of you following me for a while, remember that. Notice at the same time, here are two lines of bumps going alongside, overlapping other objects going over top of that. More tunnel-like objects that look like they're running across the surface everywhere you look. Biggest archeological find that remains still yet a secret. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. The reason why we're not seeing these structures on the surface is because they have the same reflectivity as the surface itself. Somebody asked me, uh, why, Bruce, do big observatory telescopes not see this? There are so many thousands probably in the world. Well, that's right, but here's the thing. 
When you're working on a big telescope, you need funding or you need to be a big association to be able to pay for that telescope. Therefore, for example, if somebody's uh, operating the telescope, well, what's going to happen is he's not going to be zooming in and slowing down looking at footage as a part of his job. He can't do everything. He'll be operating the telescope. Then the footage goes off to the person doing the editing and they each have their own jobs, obviously. It's not just to uh, see what you can do, uh, try to do some magic with Jupiter. No, they have a very uh, probably straightforward way of doing their work, obviously, scientifically. Angela Wade, thanks so much for the generous contributions. Angela, I want to give you a hand for that question that you asked me. Please email me and uh, I got something for you. Houston, say again, please.